In the news tonight, Minister of Education says it's unfortunate what is happening between the GTU and the Ministry. We have actively tried very hard to make every teacher's professional, economical and personal life better. And constable on the close arrest for Sergeant Vaughan's death. <music> Guyana's Minister of Education Prima Nichan says her ministry has a healthy, good relationship with the Guyana Teachers Union and it's unfortunate what is happening. The minister spoke with reporters this morning a day after talks broke down between the GTU and the Ministry of Education. The minister said the two sides have been meeting repeatedly and frequently. However, the union made it clear that those meetings were on policy matters and salary increases were never discussed. Let's talk about what the union wants. I've been very careful not to so far because I thought everybody was getting a little insane and this was being led by leaders of the union, which was very disappointing. Um, and the, the only victims of this would be our children. Um, and we all swore, me on a holy book, my Bible, to do the best I can without fear or favor for these children in my care. And I wanted to be true to that. And so I was very careful not to get involved in the back and forthing and so on, and not to be baited into irresponsible answers. The union is asking for significant percentage increases for year 2020, for year 2021, for year 2022. So let's forget the negotiation so far. Schools were closed in March of 2020 and opened in April of 2022 because of COVID. Because of COVID. Different countries in this world reduced the pay of teachers in their country or stopped it completely because teachers were home. I know my teachers in this country were home and either one concerned or two still trying to deliver education. But this government, the PPPC government, refused to even entertain docking teachers' pay, refused to cut it stop it, reduce it, and it continued, we continue to pay teachers during that period. I am posing a question to you. Do you think it is reasonable, not you, to your viewership, to get a 20% increase for year 2020, year 2021, year 2022, or any increase at all, right? So we have those as issues. Um, Outside of that, we have actively tried very hard to make every teacher's professional, economical, and personal life better by providing some of these same resources. At the first meeting, the two sides agreed to discuss the union's multi-year proposal from 2019 to 2023. This was reflected in the minutes signed by the CEO of the Ministry of Education and the GTU. Later that same day, the CEO issued a statement saying that no agreement was reached for a discussion on the union's proposal. On Tuesday, the ministry's position changed and it was pointed out to the union by the permanent secretary, Hussein Outar, that discussions surrounding salary increases should be from 2024 onwards. The minister said the PS apologized for not being at the first meeting. Even if we were to go forward with meetings, the CEO and the PS probably will not be in all of the meetings simultaneously together because there are tons of other things happening in the ministry. Um, the PS apologized for not being at the first meeting. She wasn't available then, but she was there yesterday. Well, why is that a big issue? She believes that learning laws during the strike can be fixed, but at the same time, she noted that many schools were still teaching. We know that many schools continue normally. We also know that on a regular day, 70, 30 to 40 percent of our teachers do not turn up to school. So we start. We need to start looking at some of those issues. Was the learning loss happening there? We're not done with it. The press isn't there with cameras when that's happening, and you shouldn't be. It's our system. We should run it. We should run it better than that. But we believe whatever loss happened can be caught and can be fixed. But again, I want to be careful with not diminishing a single day's worth of learning loss by just 
boastfully saying here we can fix it. I think we all have to be responsible. Any child missing even one period is a child we'd like to see, is, is something we'd like to fix. And I'd like to see that not be something we normalize in the country. It took the court's mediation process to bring the two sides to the bargaining table after teachers countrywide took strike action for 23 days. The union plans to return to the court after expressing disappointment and a lack of trust in the system. The union also said that they would not be bullied and are in talks with members with all options on the table. It's here! Igloo Ice Cream Fruit Bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops. Washi. Hi people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks to Washi so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more comes in lemon and original it is a washing machine in a pack wash is so powder wash clothes so nice wash is so powder leave your clothes color bright wash is so powder have my clothes smelling nice of course distributors located in the starbrook market The Office of Professional Responsibility has been ordered by the Commission of Police Acting Clifton Hicken to investigate the shooting death of a police sergeant at the hand of a constable in the small indigenous community of Karau in Region 7, Kayuni, Mazaroni on Tuesday. According to a statement released by the head of the Police Forces Communication Department, Mark Ramatar, the constable was placed under close arrest and is said to be assisting with the investigation. The policeman reportedly told investigators that he unintentionally fatally wounded Sergeant Vaughn. Reports are that Vaughn was leading a party of policemen in search of prisoner escapee Akim Wong, who is now wanted for two murders. Based on reports, it seems that Wong is moving between regions 3 and 7. Wong, who was sentenced to 15 years in prison for raping a teenager, was fingered in the brutal killing of 75-year-old Nelly Gomes and her 49-year-old son David Gomes. That incident occurred at Saxakali Mission, another indigenous community located in Region 3, Esequibo Islands, West Demerara. The pensioner, together with her son and grandson, had traveled to Saxakali to clean up their home. Two prison officers, one of whom was overseeing Wong in the wood bush when he escaped, was taken into custody. The two, according to prison authorities, were released and are expected to report to the station on Friday. You will never decline. Citrus, citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. Citrus, citrus. It's one of a kind. Citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. 
extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? The Guyana Trade Union Congress said it continues to stand in solidarity with teachers as it urged them to remain vigilant. The umbrella body for trade unions in Guyana in a press statement said government's decision to not respect the agreement to engage with a view of resolving the dispute not to respect teachers the core that facilitated the process is a demonstration of government's continued high-handedness disrespect and ill will towards teachers the nation's working poor the gtuc further said the government's disregard for the nation's children particularly those who are dependent on the public education system Talks between the Guyana Teachers Union and the Ministry of Education broke down on Wednesday after the Education Ministry refused to honor its agreement to discuss the multi-year agreement which covers the period 2019 to 2023. The government through the Education Ministry's Permanent Secretary Hussein Outar said they were only prepared to deal with 2024 for which there is no agreement. The PS also asks that the union submit a proposal for 2024. According to the PS, there is no physical space in the 2024 budget to accommodate salary increases for teachers for the period 2019 to 2023. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.